so let's find the takeaway from this it's really important that you be nicer to yourselves to you to your family too and to people around you yeah you want to be nice you want to feel good but it's really important that you give yourself permission that you give yourself permission to just feel good because you deserve to feel good without jumping through any hoops that any other human has assigned because we promise you there's no one non-physically that is assigning the hoops that you jump through do you believe that <laughs> once you know it S remembers looking in the mirror at herself after she'd done something really bad and she thought I don't look the same now wish I could go back to that time before I did that really bad thing and we say you got to get over that because when you look in the mirror your inner beings looking back at you there just isn't any of that you've assigned the resistance that you carry around as guilt you've assigned the resistance that you carry around as hate here's the reason we want to give you your reason you think you're right think about the last person that you really told off think about the last fit you threw this morning just think about the last fit you threw and weren't you sure that your perspective was right weren't you defending a perspective but what if everybody gets to be right because everyone is free to create so start by saying I was right and they were too just start giving them the benefit of the doubt because when you give somebody the benefit of the doubt you're the one that gets the benefit right so be nicer to yourself be nicer to yourself can you think of anything that you want to do that on a day-to-day -day basis you want to do that you don't do what are some of those things do you ever wish you could take a nap in the afternoon do you let yourself do that or is that just too lazy for you is that just something you should not do are you trying to honor some other criteria other than doing something that's nice for you we're just taking your temperature and we want to say to you you're not even hardly very nice to yourselves hardly in relationship to the way your inner being would treat you if your inner being was calling the shots about how you would behave you know how your inner being would spend your day want to know your inner being would wake up and feel glad to be awake again and then think what's the most fun thing that I could do today and then your inner being would do it and you're thinking I'd get fired <laughs> and your inner being would do it anyway because your inner being knows that when you're tuned in tapped in turned on and when you care about your job that you won't get fired you'll get understanding in other words things can't go wrong for you you don't believe this you don't believe that nothing goes wrong for you when you're tuned in to source energy but it doesn't it's resistance that causes all of the things that feel like they're going wrong for you you're so quiet <laughs> this is worth thinking about if I could do anything that I wanted to do since I can do anything that I want to do since I've already told through rockets of desire my vortex what those things are and my inner being knows what they are and has already cued them all up since everything that I want is already in the process of becoming and the only thing that is missing is me letting it in then what could I do now that would let a little more of it in that's the question how could I let a little more of what's already there in so we're just gonna ask you do you believe that it's there in a vibrational form do you believe it yes like the seed in the ground that you can't see that will be a plant so it's there do you believe that you have access to it if you play your vibration right do you believe that you can let it in or not let it in and do you believe that you get to decide how long it is that you don't let it in or that you let it in do you believe that you get to decide how much you let in and do you believe that what other people think about you has a lot to do with why you let what you let in so 
wouldn't one of the first things that you might do that is really nice for yourself is decide that you're gonna care more about what you think and less about what they think but how are you gonna do that do you get in their face and say I don't care what you think or do you just think well you're right too you're right but so am I and you're choosing for you and I'm choosing for me and then you think no you're trying to choose for me and I'm not gonna let you get away with that whoa 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 they can't choose for you remember only you can choose for you so get that straight right away and then enjoy the show watch them throwing fits to try to get you to be different while you stand there being who you want to be loving them anyway you don't fight back there won't be a fight for long most of the juice in most of the fights are knee-jerk responses let them yank your chain or push your button or get your goat Esther's friend says that her grandmother said I'm trying to keep my goat in the backyard where no one can get it <laughs> if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one